Hey guys, it's me Ryder Marquez and today's video is going to show you 4 tips for catching bass on a lure. First tip, gear. I like using light gear for bass. Any light sensitive rod and reel setup will do. Personally, I have the 6 foot graphite carbon fiber telescope fishing rod with a Shimano Sedona 500 FD spooled with 8 pound braid and top shot with 6 pound monofilament low stretch line. The reason for light line is that bass are finicky predators. Thinner the line, the decreased chance of the bass to spot the line. Although you do risk snapping the line if your drag is not set right. Tip number two, the lure itself. There's thousands of lures out there and not one is the best lure. You have to find out what is working that day and you won't know what works unless you try. So from my experiences, an imitation crawfish works best for me. I like using a Texas rig black and blue craw poppy with a 1 16th ounce black bullet weight with a big wide bite short shank size 2 owner hook. Tip number 3, location. Location is key. You have to throw your lure suitable for that specific environment. For example, crawfish like to hang around tullies, rocky bottoms, submerged structure, and even water outflows. Casting to these specific environment greatly increases your chance of a bass striking your lure. Tip number four, by far the most important tip, how to work the lure. Once you cast the lure out there, you want to allow that lure to hit the bottom. Wait four to six seconds between subtle rod twitches. Those twitches are going to flutter the crawfish, enticing any hungry bass to bite. All right, let's go ahead and catch some bass. Let's go. Got one. There it is. It's a nice one. It's a nice bass. Oh, it's a nice one. Oh, keep her down. Oh, oh, geez, this is strong. It's probably a good two pounder, but imitation crawfish. Look at this guy. Spit it out. Oh, <laughs> nice little two pounder. Right in the roof of its mouth. Small presentation does the job. Look at this, look at this guy. Nice pound and a half or close to two pounds. This, this guy is pretty girthy. Thanks for letting me catch you. Let me catch you another day. Woo! And don't be afraid to fish this bait really, really slow. Cause the water temperature here in Southern California dropped due to the winter time. And so the fish are gonna be a little bit lethargic. There it is. Oh, there's a the bass. Oh, never mind. <laughs> this guy is huge. All right, buddy. Thanks for letting me catch you. I don't know what fish that is. I think it's a sunfish or a, a bluegill. Got him on the imitation craw. That's awesome. The fish are biting, I guess. Oh, missed him again. Nice little tug on that line. Nice little tick. I could, t I could, I felt a little tick. I missed it. Cast it at the same spot. Hopefully the bass is still there trying to look for another easy prey. There it is. There's another one. Awesome! This guy is not a monster, but he's another bass. Again on that imitation crawfish. <laughs> See you buddy. The sun already set and so it's gonna get really dark here. So let's catch one more good bass and we'll call it a day. Oh my god, this is a huge guy. What is this? Holy moly! This guy is huge. He wanted crawfish. How crazy is that? Size of my hand versus him. And I have like 20 inch hands. All right, buddy. Thanks for letting me catch you. See ya. See if we can catch one more bass. I'm trying to get three bass for the day. Nice one. Oh, keep her down. This one's a nice one. Look at this guy. Oh, this guy is huge. It's probably a good two pounder. Let's go over here. Oh, come on, buddy. Mm, got you. On that imitation craw, beautiful bass. Probably, oh, he's been caught before, look at this. That's not me. Old wounds right here. It's awesome. Nice little bass. Third bass of the day on that imitation craw. All right, buddy. Thanks for letting me catch you. See ya. It's hard to leave when the bass bite is really good. Got one. Oh, he was right there. I think I snagged him. Oh no, I didn't. 
This is the craziest hook set. He like wrapped around my line. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Not a big one, but another bass. See you, buddy. I have one. I have one. Oh, got one. <laughs> oh, sick. He was right here. How awesome is that? Oh my god, this guy swallowed it. I think I'm at six bass today. Crazy. Another nice little chunk. See you, buddy. Woo! Getting six bass from the shoreline in the wintertime? Pretty crazy. Pretty crazy. Now I'm tangled. So crazy. What? Another bass! What the heck? Holy moly, they are just stacked right now. Oh, come on, stop twisting. Got you. They are just wild, crazy fishing right now. I think I'm at seven bass for today. Thanks, buddy. Oh my god. I think this is a deadly combination, guys. Try this out. Maybe it's just a good day of fishing, or maybe I'm just really lucky to be at this at this spot here. But it's really, really crazy how I could catch seven bass and two small sunfish or nice big sunfish on this imitation. Crazy. Let's catch another one for giggles. Crawfish are a natural food source for these bass, these hungry bass. I mean, it makes sense. There's like a, a nice little waterway here and it's pushing all these, all this debris and it rained recently too, so. Oh, oh my God, no way. Another bass? What is it? It's another bass, no way. It's another bass, dude. Oh my God. I've caught like eight bass on this lure. It's just unbelievable. It's crazy how crazy this is. <laughs> See you, buddy. Oh my God, no way. What is this? Oh my God. This is not a bass, but this is probably my third nice little sunfish or whatever fish this is. Red, red ear? I don't know. Comment below what, what kind of fish this is. See you, buddy. I think I caught more than 10 fish today. I hope this video helps you guys catch some bass. Let's say if we get more than 300 likes, I'll make another how-to video just like this. Comment below and let me know what video you want next. If you have not subscribed, please hit that sub button to seek more fishing adventures. Follow me on Instagram. Again, my name is Rodney Marquez and always, thanks for watching. See ya! Waiting for a nice little tick. Then I can set a hook on this bad boy. Oh no. Yeah, dang it. That was a nice little, nice little tug. Come on now.